Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 611. Since my iPhone went splat, I've been rocking a Nokia N97. I'll tell you what I'm thinking about it after I've had a couple weeks of immersion. But ultimately, my goal is to find the iPhone replacement that gives me the best Google Voice experience. Motorola is working on an Android phone under the code name Shoals. It has a 3.7-inch 854 by 480 touchscreen with a slider QWERTY keyboard. It'll have GPS, Wi-Fi, USB, and Bluetooth. The processor is said to match what's in the iPhone 3GS. Rumor says it'll have a 5-megapixel autofocus camera. Storage is provided by remote movable micro SDHC cards. It's expected to be available on Verizon in October and it may launch running Android 2.0. The PRC is a swinging chair that costs $4,200. PRC stands for Personal Rocking Computer. No, it doesn't. Today, Sony announced a new type of lithium-ion secondary battery that uses olivine-type lithium-iron phosphate as the cathode material. It provides stable performance even at high temperatures. What matters to us, in practical terms, is long life and rapid charging. Even after 2,000 charges, the new batteries will still maintain 80% capacity. The batteries can be charged to 99% in only 30 minutes. That works for me. The new technology is especially suited for power tools like cordless drills. Just because I'm on strike from the iPhone doesn't mean and I'll skip over cool iPhone apps. There's a new one I think is a really great idea. It's called Shoot It. It's 99 cents and it turns a picture shot on your iPhone or stored in your iPhone library into a picture postcard. It requires you to register your info and credit card number online, but then it'll generate and send a postcard to any address you tell it to for between 99 cents and $1.50. There's a discount for sending 10 or more cards and the first card is free. This is a fantastic idea and I hope they do really well. August is slow for gadget news, really slow. But I have one more for today. Logitech has a new Harmony remote, the 900, and CNET calls it hands down the best universal remote control we've ever tested. It's an RF remote system that includes little IR blasters that can control components hidden in cabinets. The one remote will replace up to 15 other remotes. The full color touchscreen changes based on your activity, so if you're watching a DVD, you'll get specific options related to that. The CNET review is pretty thorough, and I have a link in the post for Brief 611 at www.geekbrief.tv. This brief was brought to you by Angie'sList.com slash geek. Angie's List provides member reviews of contractors, service providers, and even doctors so we can learn from our neighbors' mistakes. Uh, not you, Jason. Promo code geek saves you 25% when you join, and it supports the production of Geek Brief TV. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Callie Lewis. Bye. I'm Canadian.